Today I'm going to teach you how to make a chat room in Batch. It will require two programs but will be quite easy to make. We will make one program to write messages and one to receive them. Let's start. As you can see I have the words title and color in blue, but not in a dark blue. As you may have guessed title is what the window is going to be called and color is going to be the background and text color of the program. I have the color being 0F which will make the background white and the text black. You can play around with this if you want. Just go to the CMD and type color tree to see the colors you can use. Next, you see set slash p username equals enter your name. This sets the variable username to what the user enters to enter your name. Under that you see echo percent username percent has joined greater than greater than joined at it tells the computer to make a data file call join with that code telling the computer to display that a user has joined. This file will be used by the reader, not the writer. Next, you see message. This is similar to a function. Everything under it will happen when it is called. You call things by typing goto and the function's name. After message, you see send an echo percent username percent percent message percent greater than greater than log that. You can use a variable by putting a pair of percent signs around the variable name. Also, this is again saved to a file called log. It will only be used by the reader. After that you see go to a message. This makes it an infinite loop since at the end of the program it always goes back to another part. Now, let's start the reader program. Again there is the window title and the color you can play around with these if you want to. You also see the function red. After that, you see CLS. This simply tells the computer to clear the screen. This is very important so you don't get multiples of the same message when it refreshes. Now, you see type joined at. This tells the program to read the file joined at and to do the code that it contains. Which is to notify that there is an user if there is one. Same with the code type log data tells the computer to read and do the code in the log file and to display the username and their message. After that, you see ping 192.0.2.2 and 1 w100 greater than null. It may seem confusing, but it is not. 192.0.2.2 is a fake IP address. The computer will try to ping is for 100 milliseconds and then give up and move on. This is so it doesn't refresh at such a fast rate that it makes the screen flash. Then you see Goto read which makes this infinite. Now, I am going to show you how the program works. First, make sure you save both of the projects in the same folder as writer.bat and reader.bat. Then, see how I open the reader. It says that it can't find the file. That is, because none has been created by the writer, yet. Now. See how if I enter my username and a message it goes from the message that it can't find a file to a new user has joined and my message. Also, see how two files have seemingly popped out of nowhere in the file. That is, because the writer has just made them. Keep those files and your chatting history will be saved no matter how many times you close the window. Delete them and you will have a fresh start. You can use this on your own computer or on a shared drive at school with virtually unlimited users. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please like if this helped you and subscribe for future tutorials. If you have any questions, post a comment below.